it's Alicia here with My Work Basket. Today's video is a little bit different than usual because this is part of a craft collaborations blog, vlog, hop, blog, hop. I think it's, I think it's all vlogs. Anyway, for this video, I was sent some products free in order to feature them and show them to you. And the products that I got were from the Scrap Perfect Company. I got their best glue ever, their no clog writing cap and their release paper. So um, I have opened my glue, otherwise you're pretty much seeing it exactly how it comes. There's the size of it. And I did open it yesterday because I did some product training and was kind of playing around with it and trying some things that they were mentioning during my training video. So I am super excited to show this to you. It does come sealed with like a little plastic seal. Like I said, mine is off. It has a super fine tip. And then in addition to the super fine tip that's already on it, I also got the no clog writing cap, which is even finer and thinner than that. So I'm gonna play around with it. I'm gonna show you some projects, but I wanted to show you how they come packaged so that you can see exactly. So this is the no clog writing cap that specifically fits their glue bottle. They do have it in other sizes for other products. And then this is a roll of release paper for making your own glue dots, glue lines, etc. So I wanted to show you exactly how they come packaged before I play with them and take them apart and, you know, do all that kind of stuff and open them up. So again, that's how the best glue ever looks. This is brand new. And in the training video, they said it essentially never expires. It never goes bad. Um, that they know of, uh, you should never freeze it. So if you live somewhere really, really cold, make sure it's in an area where your crafter maybe doesn't get super cold. If you work out, like if you have a she shed or something like that. And other than that, it should last practically forever. She says she has people who have been using the same bottle for years. So I'm really excited to see if this bottle can replace my massive glue drawer that I have full of different glues. So this is what they look like when they first come in the mail. And then let's see what I can make with them. Okay guys, so I thought that the best way to show what the best glue ever is capable of and how it may compare to other glues is to make a set of very similar cards that utilize best glue ever on one card and a different glue on a different card. And what I ended up doing was three cards. On one card, I used this Craft Bond Paper Craft Glue Gel, which I actually generally like this glue. I use this on a lot of my paper crafts. You do have to be very delicate with it or the paper will ripple. But generally, I like this glue. This is one of the many glues in my entire glue drawer. But for the sake of a one-to-one -one comparison, I thought this would be the fairest option to use on my card. The other two cards are both done with the best glue ever. One of them I did mostly with the traditional cap that comes with it. And the other one I put on this super fine writing cap. Um, I do have my regular cap. I wrapped my regular cap in some press and seal instead of rinsing all the glue out just in case I needed to kind of immediately go back to it. Um, but what I ended up doing, so this is, I'm trying to unseal it so I can show you the difference. This is how fine the regular cap is, and it's pretty small. And then the other, sorry, so it has a separate screw on pin cap to keep the pin clean. And I keep struggling to, like my whole cap unscrews instead of just this little pin cap. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Definitely user error, not product error, but. So you can see this is the comparison of the two tips. Quite a difference. So I personally struggled a little bit with the normal cap getting a nice small amount of glue. Again, I know that's user error because I've watched videos and I've done training with the owner and I know it's me that is doing that. So she's very capable and other people are very capable of getting very small amounts with the glue bottle. I, however, am not. And I don't know why. Maybe I'm just kind of a heavy handed glue person. 
but I was really struggling to get small amounts of glue with the standard tip. So I personally am very glad that I got the, my, the very fine writing cap. And the great thing about the writing cap is I can adjust it to have more flow. So I will start by showing you the card that I did with the Papercraft glue gel. So all of my cards are an easel card, which is a die cut that I have. So it's two layers of cardstock with a picture sandwiched in between. As you can see, there is actually some rippling. I hope it shows on camera. There's some rippling where my glue was to glue my picture down and to glue my two pieces of cardstock together. So there's a little bit of rippling where I did that. Also, my bow did not stick at all with the paper craft, the craft bond. So I did a little fork bow of ribbon. The button stuck to the bow okay. The bow does not at all stick to the card. I also used the glue to do glitter hearts. I just painted the glue in a heart shape. And as you can see, the glitter just did not stick everywhere. Um, so for all the cards, I put the glue on wet, sprinkled the glitter on, patted it down to kind of push it in place, dumped the excess glitter off. To keep it fair, that's how I did the glitter on all three cards, even though there is a better way to do it with the best glue ever. So just to make a fair comparison, I did it the same exact way. So also, as you can see, I did some foil here in the corner. This was actually a heart shape as well. The foil did stick to the wet craft bond. However, it is not in any actual shape whatsoever. So the craft bond glue did an okay job on the paper part. It did somewhat part of a job on the bow, but clearly I would have needed at least another glue in order to hook my bow down, in order to get better glue, and in order to do foiling. Next up, I'll show you the card where I did the best glue ever with the full size standard cap. And again, I personally really struggled to get a very fine line of glue with just that cap. User error, and I'm sure of that. So as you can see, even with having a struggle of getting a just tiny amount of glue, there's still no rippling in my actual paper where I hooked anything together. It took the foil really, really well. So the one thing I did do slightly different is to do the best glue ever with foil, you let it dry until it's tacky and it stays tacky and never dries to like a permanent hard seal. So I did do that slightly differently for the foil because the craft bond glue on the other card doesn't dry tacky. So if I didn't do it while it was wet, it wouldn't have worked at all. There's not great detail because again, I struggled with the glue tip. And then for the glitter on these, on this one, there is a better way to do glitter for the best glue ever. To keep it fair and make a fair comparison, I didn't do it that way. And because I had a hard time making fine details with the full size tip, my glitter came out a bit kind of junky looking on this one. This is, this is the way I did it. There's better ways to do it. Also, the best glue ever did an okay job of hooking the button to the thing and the, the bow is stuck to the card. Again, I know already there's a better way I could have done this. I wanted to make a fair comparison where you could see how to do it straight out of the box without like a learning curve. You know, you can find great videos where they do amazing things. And after I show off these three cards, I'm going to show you some of those that I've made over time as well. But this is my like, I'm learning to use this. This is straight out of the box. This is my result. Not too terrible besides the glitter issue here. I put my glue directly onto the card and glued my bow on. And it is, it's on there. It wiggles a little bit, but it is on there. Now, the better way to have done it would have been to use the best glue ever and actually make a repositionable glue dot and use that to hook my bow on. But again, I'm trying to keep things as a nice, fair comparison. A decent tug is not really pulling my bow off or my button off, although they are moving a little bit. So that is my card with the best glue ever with the regular tip. The third card is the best glue ever, but with the micro tip one. So we're talking minuscule dots of glue here. Let me show you on some scrap paper just how tiny of a dot this is that we're talking here. 
So the best glue ever in the, that's actually a big glue dot. You can get smaller than that. So with the best glue ever in the craft tip, we are talking tiny amounts of glue here. Less glue than you've ever used of probably any project on any glue. And that's how I did this card. <coughs> so again, you can see there's absolutely no rippling in any way where my paper's attached. So for a paper to paper, there's absolutely zero learning curve. The best glue ever just does it and does a great, 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 great job. With the tip, I was able to get much better detail on the foil, the high and the exclamation mark, and this heart, our foil. And to do the best glue ever with foil, you do let it dry until it's tacky and then you do the foil. And that's the only thing that I did differently on the cards in the way of technique. For the glitter, I put it on and you can see that nice fine detail. I also did a heart up here. I put it on and then immediately poured on glitter, pushed that glitter down in with my thumb or finger. I can't guarantee what finger I used, but that's how I did my glitter. And as you can see, it's perfect. It's much, 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 much better than the alternative glue that I used. And it's cleaner for me personally with the microfine tip than the way I did it the exact same way with the regular tip. And again, there are better ways to do glue with the best glue ever. I mean, the better ways to do glitter. But I was trying to keep it fair and give you perfect one-to-one -one examples. Um, the one problem I did have is... I put my glue too close to the edge. It squished out. And then when I did my glitter, a little bit stuck here in this crease. But there's other things I could have done to prevent that. I was just, I don't know. I was focusing, I guess. I'm not really, I could have done something about that. I also could have done it if I had fingernails and clipped it out. And then for the bow, those tiny little dots. Unfortunately, my button didn't stick. So yeah, it could have used a little bit more glue to hold my bow on. But it's still actually repositionable. I can't know which one of those was down. So, again, there's better ways to do the best glue ever to do all of these tasks. I was trying to keep it straight and even right out of the box. And if I hadn't have pulled on that, it wouldn't have fallen off. Whereas the bow here just straight up did not stick with the other glue. So I couldn't even move this around my craft table without the bow falling off from the other glue. But if I don't pull on the one with the best glue ever, it doesn't come off. So that's the one-to-one -one comparison with learning curve of doing everything identically across the different cards and how you can see the result. So even without doing everything the best way possible, you can see that the best glue ever definitely did a better job. And now I'll do just a minute of showing you some quick cards of cards and other things that I've done over my time spending some time working with the best glue ever. Just real quick, I want to show that my bow on the card where I used no fine writing tip is much sturdier. So really the one where I used the fine tip just needed more glue. 